Hey fellow thrifters, welcome back to another week of thrifting with me on my channel. My name is Nicole. If I if you haven't ever stumbled across my channel before, I mostly do thrift with me's and styling type of videos or clothing related, fashion related content. Anyways, you know the drill. I'm going in looking for vintage and unique finds and I've waited long enough, so let's get into the thrift store. And just if you wanted a weather update, it is minus 28 with the wind chill today, so. Enough of that, let's hurry in. Got my reusable bag here. I thrifted fine from many years ago. Holy crap, it's cold out. Checking out the bags and wallets and accessories first, see what there is. Right away I'm spotting this really cool plaid bag. I think it's handmade. I'd love to find some pants or a skirt in that color, but I even really do like this bag. I don't really need another wallet, but oh, look at that. Look at this handmade little beaded pouch. That's actually really cute. Kind of spying this little, what the, what is this? Another little handmade item. It is a little sheep coin purse. Looks like it's made out of real felted wool. That is like weirdly cute. It's kind of a really cool 90s wallet, but have some staining. I just love these colors. Let's look at the inside. The inside is okay considering. I'm surprised this is 450 though. But I wonder if you could fix the stains on that. I think it's a little too warm for me, but I'm gonna appreciate that. I've been looking for a larger black bag and I just found it. It is on a really short strap, but it is very interesting. It has a bunch of zippers on it. I think it's just, oh yeah, it's just like a visual zipper, I guess. But it's this large kind of hobo style bag, which I've been looking for. The inside is okay. But yeah, look at this like zipper all around the bag. It's really unique. I'm very excited about this because I have been searching for a large bag. I'm having a lot of luck in the bags today, but look at this cutest little purse. I love that. I just love the little character on there, but it looks like a leather tooled little purse. Oh my god, it's so cute. This shirt's kind of fun. It's kind of like the batik. I think that might be actually hand painted tie-dye. Like tie-dye with hand-painted spots on it. Kind of a different kind of a piece. Hmm, I just found this dress. You can tell by the bodice and the shape of the dress that it probably would look good on. It's vintage. It's an interesting brownish purple, so try that on. I think this is a handmade dress, but it's very bold. Kind of has a tennis dress feel to it. This might be kind of interesting to try on. So I'm unfortunately noticing a bit of a trend today in the thrift store, and that is that there is a lot of fast fashion and Shein stuff. So there must have been like a large donation maybe of Shein stuff. So that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, I just say that about Shein and then I just found this like gorgeous wool long plaid skirt, something that I've been looking for. So I don't know if the thrift gods were listening to me and were like, we are going to bless you. Rex, Rex New York, I'm not sure about that, but we will give this a try. Okay, I just found this amazing skirt. I'm not sure if it's handmade, but there's actually two pieces. I don't know why they have it separated. But there's this blue silk skirt that's obviously maybe supposed to go under this skirt. I'm not sure if it's handmade, but look how gorgeous that is. We'll have to try this on and see what it looks like. But from here, it looks pretty amazing. 
I found these really strange scrunchy looking belts. They're like stretchy. They kind of remind me of snow pants belts or something, but I think they're actually supposed to be for clothing. I feel like this is a very like 80s or 90s thing, but maybe we'll try it on and see what it looks like with an outfit. We're gonna call this coat the poodle coat because this is what it reminds me of. It's one of those poodles that even have that same coloring. Wild Fable, I've never heard of that. This is 100% polyester and I did, I was worried about will this wash very well, but it says that it can wash in gentle cycle. The color is gorgeous and it is in my size. I think we could maybe try it on and just see what it looks like. And then I can spot here, there's this like very interesting furry vest and it has like a leather look and a cinched in sweater waist it's by Rawl. I don't know if this is, this looks um, very like European to me or something. I don't know. It is very cool. I think we should maybe try it on and just see what it looks like. These clog looking shoes are actually really cool. Kind of have that uh, Y2K accessory aesthetic, like even a little silver flower. It's actually in really good condition. I don't know this Koi by Sunita. I've never heard of it before, but it's really in good condition. It's actually these clogs too. They're more of like a worn in look, but I do like the details on the shoe. They're kind of neat. This uh, floral long sleeve blouse I just found by Hiroko. I think it's lightly padded shoulders as well. Like look at this perfect 90s floral print and it just feels really nice too but it's very springy to me. Just found one of these 80s short sleeved sweaters. Reminds me of Stranger Things, something that Nancy would wear. The colors are actually really pretty. I'm wondering if this is like a handmade sweater. It is cute. Late 70s, early 80s, I would say, maybe. Just found this amazing, like I would say, oversized blazer. It is in the plus size section, but the pattern really caught my eye. And obviously the vintage details of the buttons. Just like an opened blazer for layering. Tag says Mr. Matt. If we want to be very stereotypical spring, I feel like this sweater would get the point across. I just found this um, gorgeous red blazer, 100% pure wool, Sag Harbor Petite, but a gorgeous looking blazer. I'm not really looking for blazers though right now. We're now gonna head into my favorite section, which is the yellow and green hang tags where there's some crazy sales and a lot of vintage sometimes on this rod. So this is what we have to work with. Let's just get looking. I found another Mr. Max. I feel like we found Mr. Max on our thrifting adventures before. I don't love this shirt and I really don't like the color, but I do love the vintage tag. Unfortunately, not too much for me today in the discount rack. Can't always be lucky every time. Just in the bedwear section right now. Look at this vintage tag. It's kind of a little bit wrinkly, but Brentford's quality with a conscience. I think that's what it says. With a conscience, yeah. Made in Britain. It's just like gold and black belted house coat. Kind of very regal. Yeah, I haven't found anything really kitsch in a long time at the thrift store. And these are actually only 50 cents. Do I need any more mugs in my life? Probably not, but these are like really unique. I feel like, you know, this pottery stoneware look. I don't normally see the flowers like this. I don't know, I'm gonna think about these. Always take a look at the glassware. Sometimes it seems like it's boring, but you can find like interesting looks in the glass. You can find interesting patterns and shapes in the glass that can be pretty unique in your kitchen. These shoes are actually in my size and they kind of are a bit interesting. Kind of a coppery look with embroidered leather. Vienna collection. I'm pretty sure these are leather. And the heels, oh yeah, made in Brazil, leather upper. They're 
kind of an interesting shoe, interesting details on the shoe. I feel like that would be interesting to have in my closet. We'll maybe give these a try on. This is kind of a cart update, quite full. Okay, we have this skirt, these two skirts that we're gonna try on. This, this pink and black dress, it's not usually my style, but we're gonna just give it a try. This vin couple of vintage items. This dress, which I'm wondering what it's gonna look like on, it's one of those underdog pieces. And then this crazy poodle jacket. And we're gonna give it a try with this furry vest. So let's get into the change room. We also have a bunch of accessories and cups that I'll just decide what we're gonna do with, maybe. All right, let's do a quick outfit of the day. I wanted to do a quick little talk about this little thing. So I did thrift this a long time ago. It is a cardigan clip. It's gorgeous pearls and gold hearts. Super cool. I know that it's supposed to be attached to a cardigan, but I just wanted to play around with it and I just clipped it onto my um, collar of my shirt. So I have um, this shirt that I thrifted, actually in a thrift with me video a while back. It's a Levi's shirt. And then this other knitted sweater that I thrifted as well. I put it on top. And then I actually am just wearing my Levi's overalls. And then my Air Max 97 Futuras. And then my hair today is just going wild. Wow, okay. I think this uh, poodle jacket kind of ups this outfit actually. It doesn't have a hood, but it has this like very cool big collar. I feel like we could play with textures with this coat oh, and there's pockets. But I think that this this coat would be a really interesting coat to have in my collection. And obviously the poofiness is great and it would be warm. And the color. And I get bragging rights to say I have a coat that looks like a poodle. I just wanted to take video of this uh, vest open first and then we'll do it closed. I always have a feeling that my outfit is missing something today because now that I'm putting like more pieces on top, I feel like the outfit is just getting better. Let's close it up and see what it looks like. Okay, I personally like it open, but I feel like if you're wanting to have that like corset um, pulled in look, I think this is good. This is a very interesting piece. I wonder if it would be easy to clean. And it surprisingly fits. I would like it maybe a bit tighter, but I feel like this could be interesting piece to have in your closet. Really interesting open vintage cardigan. I don't know why, but I feel like I want to pair this with some leggings and heels just to counteract the oversize of this. Colors are different than I gravitate towards, but maybe that would be a good thing to have a few pieces that you kind of experiment with the colors. I like how the sleeves are kind of exaggeratedly long on me. That's why I do like to try on different sizes, because you come up with interesting shapes. It kind of has like a com refined kimono vibe because of the 80s, 90s style of this. So I even love the mix of the print with this floral shirt and this plaid skirt. Even like the hardware with it, I don't know, it just has a really cool look. I feel like it's a bit Vivian Westwood. Maybe if we had something on the head or something. Some cool boots. I did read on the tag that this is dry clean only. I usually try to get away with doing like delicate cycle with my dry clean stuff and usually it works but i'm not sure about the wool and the size isn't perfect it is a bit larger actually this was like a bit tighter it's like one of those things it's like should i pay for this to be altered because it is a really cool piece and it's like the perfect plaid or should i just work with the shape and let it be a little loose and then work with belts and pins just to have fun with it because it doesn't always have to be an extreme tight fit you know and then i just threw this vintage sweater over top of this and i am not liking it it looks too dowdy on me i don't know if this would look maybe better with like tighter jeans and like a tank top underneath but i feel like this just isn't my style i'm not nancy wheelering it 
Stranger Things reference if you didn't know. And then I tried on the two scrunchy belts to get it off. They're actually both too big for me. And I wonder if like we experimented with kind of maybe wearing it lower on the waist with both of them. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. I was hoping to have these as more of a higher up waist item, but they just don't work. Okay, this is obviously kind of an exception to the try on everything, no matter what your size is, but I didn't realize the waist was as large because they had it like kind of tucked and clipped. If you were somebody who upcycled stuff, this would be a beautiful addition to your collection that I upcycle. Or if you were super handy with the sewing machine, but I have so many other projects and things I have on the go. I know I wouldn't have time for the skirt. Sometimes we have to show our failures in the change room. Okay, next we have this. I would say that this is probably 15, 17 years old um, for how vintage it is. This reminds me of like the skater skirt look. It is a bit short on me, I feel like. Look, look at even at the back. But, um,. Kind of has like a tennis skirt feel to it. I do like it, don't get me wrong. It's just, I wore so much pink and black when I was a teenager that I'm not sure if I'm ready to revisit it. Every second that I have this dress on, it's kind of growing on me. I feel like if I accessorized heavily with this, um, this look would look really cute and play around with the shapes with jewelries and accessories of this dress. I feel like this is the perfect floral print. This reminds me of being a kid. And not only that, I just really like the 90s floral. And the colors are perfect for spring. I feel like we could play around with the shape of this shirt, with jeans, with my overalls, with skirts. I feel like it is a cool, Sure. I don't know, am I the only one that this print gives me like extreme joy and it just makes me even want to start exploring spring outfits? And then here's that big oversized bag that I showed at the beginning of the video. If you have a video planned and I've been looking for a huge oversized bag like this, subscribe if you want to see that video in the future. I feel like I've been looking for so long, I feel like this is just gonna have to work actually. And the inside isn't in too bad a condition. I just realized I have this on backwards. I'm actually supposed to go like this with the zipper hardware in the front. But I mean like, there is no rules to fashion. I feel like we could just have worn it backwards and been just fine. This is what I meant when I was talking about it on the hanger. I could tell by the bodice and the uh, lines on the dress that it would create a lot of shape when put on. But it, see how it like really sucks in right here? Beautiful and like the nice scoop neck and actually the bodice is kind of like a silk kind of chevron top. But I feel like it's a really flattering shape and it is a different color than what I have. It's like a very deep eggplant. I feel like it's a simple dress, but sometimes the simple dress is like you don't have to really do much. You just throw this on and it's just, you feel great in it. And then just wanted to throw on a few accessories to show you guys what it would look like on. So here's that little tooled purse. Even just with how simple this dress looks like, with this little addition to the outfit. I think it's an interesting statement. And then I've been blessed with finding beautiful plaids today, but here is that plaid purse that I found. And it's actually in pretty good condition, even with this dress is looking gorgeous. All right, and then I tried just one of these on. The heel on this is actually kind of uncomfortable. I could feel like I could break my ankle very easily in this shoe because I'm so clumsy. But I do appreciate how beautiful of a shape this shoe is. I just feel like it's too teetering for me, but cute nonetheless. Hey guys, hope you're ready for the haul portion of this video. Let's just get into some of the things I decided to get. I feel like you guys know that I had to get this poodle jacket. We are calling this jacket Sir Poodle Jacket. Or no? Is it a Sir Poodle Jacket? It's something poodle. We're just calling this Poodle Jacket, okay? And I did realize after that 
This is a with tags on and it is actually a Target coat and it even says from 2019. So kind of a modern piece, but I feel like what I said in the change room, it's like a texture piece and I feel like it is something that we need to have in our closet, just fun things like this. And I just feel attached now because this coat is the poodle coat. So amazing coat. It was a little bit pricey. What was it? It was $19.50. So, but I feel like because it's new, it's in really good condition and it is a really unique piece and the color is gorgeous. So yeah, love this piece. I then did get this big, huge purse. I always seem to like go to this side. This purse wants this side to be seen. Huge black purse. I do have a, have a video idea for this. And also like I do want to style my outfits with a large uh, purse. But there is a video upcoming in the future that this purse will be featured in. You guys are just going to have to wait to see what I'm going to do with this purse. But yeah, this purse was actually a little pricey as well. This purse was $12. I think it's the most money I've spent on a thrift store purse, but I think it's in really good condition. That's why, like even inside, I swear that I do not think anyone has ever used this purse because the inside of this purse is seriously immaculate. Like all, even every single pocket inside, just everything is in great condition. But yeah, really interesting, cool purse. Can't wait to show you guys this purse's future. I then did end up getting the floral shirt. Do you guys, can you guys tell what things I'm going to get, how I react to it in the change room? Um, oh, and I just love this Hiroko tag. It's like kind of like Japanese. Well, I think it is a Japanese name, but um, I don't know much about it enough to be sure about that. But obviously I love button up shirts and this is just another one I can add to my collection in this unique 90s floral print. I think this is, is the epitome of spring and I'm very excited to wear this shirt. And what is this? This was $5.50, so not too bad of a price either. And I think it is 100% cotton, which is always a plus. Yeah, it is, it's 100% cotton, which is always a plus for me, my favorite material to wear. I then did end up getting this pod skirt, even though like, I feel like I am taking a bit of a chance with this because it is slightly too large. And the fact that it's dry clean only, and I'm gonna have to figure out how to clean it because I don't usually go to the dry cleaners. But um, because this was actually only $5.50, so can you, maybe it's because it is a dry cleaned item and that it is wool that uh, people maybe are shying away from this. I'm not sure. Or maybe that's why the price is, I mean. But gorgeous plaid. This is like the epitome of fall vibes, even though we're not going for, we're not shopping for fall or anything, we're just shopping for whatever. But I just love this plaid and I just love the shape actually I loved how it was long I think this is a perfect skirt to wear in the winter because your legs are completely covered and the wool is just um, obviously protecting your legs so yeah 550 for this amazing plaid skirt you guys I made an amazing discovery so I did not realize remember how I was saying that this was probably like a skater dress from like early 2000s I think it's actually a mod dress from like maybe the 60s the zipper you can kind of tell like it's very old and i started like looking more closely to the fabric and i really think this is a which would my first uh thought actually was that this had very mod vibes but i thought from the pink and the black that it was the y2k and because of the skirt but yeah by further inspection I'm pretty sure that this is a 60s mod dress. I actually used to sell vintage back in my early 20s and I have been thrifting for quite a while so I kind of get like an eye for these things. Um, obviously I'm not always right but I feel like this is a pretty old dress actually. So I did end up getting this obviously because it is super vintage and I feel like I have these like tall black boots that, um, that are kind of like a mod feeling that I think would actually go well with this and i just want to play around with maybe that 60s vibe and the price for this was only 950 so i'm saying only 950 i'm getting like so used to these high thrift store prices that i'm like oh, only 950 i hope 
but not in the future. It's not like only twelve fifty. Um, but yeah, uh, actually amazing find if you ask me. There is no tags in this dress, so I don't know if it's like a handmade. It does kind of look handmade, but in a way it doesn't. I don't know. This is a cool cool find of the day i was gonna ask you guys a question i was gonna ask if you have subscribed yet if you haven't and like my videos do you think you could subscribe it'd be really cool if you did but you don't have to no pressure i'm so sorry so that concludes my video today i hope you guys had fun thrifting with me i had fun thrifting with you and i can't wait to see you guys next week i am still awkward saying goodbye and I'm so sorry about that, but I'm just going to have to figure it out. Bye, guys.